all was quiet. And then everything went crazy. A mob of prisoners attacked Titus and his men, and then the undead came, attracted by the screams. Moen spirited us away and traded his boat to Alvaro so that he would tell us how to find you. He was helping us into a ventilation shaft when the dead got their hands on him and... He sacrificed himself so that we could get away. There were too many. There was nothing we could do. They tore into him like hungry animals and... All we could do is watch. If not for Moen, we would not be here. Yeah, you make it. Quick, get into the elevator. The elevator's here. Okay, now, take a second to catch your breath. <laughs> hey, get up. Wake up. This ain't no time to be taking a damn nap. What happened? The fuck aghast us. I heard you talking to White. I'm the one who helped you open the locks. We gotta get the hell out of here. Like, now. And how do we do that? Since Colonel Trust Me just fucked us. You had something he wanted. He came in here and took it right off you like he knew just where to find it. The vaccine. Ah, oh, what the hell. Well, that's just great. Told you we couldn't trust that. We gotta move! Come on! There's a chopper on the roof, it's waiting for White, and if that asshole reaches it before we do, he's flying the fuck out of here and calling in the bombers. Thermonuclear annihilation, the whole goddamn island. We gotta catch him while we still have a chance. What chance is that? White's headed to the hospital. He's picking up his wife to take her to the chopper. Being she's out of her goddamn mind, that'll take some time. He's going through the left wing. Not so many infected, but that's the long way. So, what's the short way? Take the elevator to the top, which takes you straight to the other wing of the hospital. It's riskier, but we can reach the roof faster. Only the badasses should take the elevator. Me and the rest will take the safer way and meet you at the top. Shake a leg for fuck's sake. Head toward the hospital wing. We'll take the low road. Go! Good luck. <gasps> Be careful. This freak off me!
Let's hope there's something useful. Kill those fuckwits! Put them out of their misery! I'm losing him! to die! Yourself, you bloody wanker!
What are you trying to do, Connell? I don't have to explain myself to you! Look, your wife is gone! Look at her! She ain't coming back! But you can still save Take us! Take one more step and you're dead! I have the cure, alright? The doctors in Sydney will make more. We'll send helicopters. We'll save everyone! With a nuclear bomb? Kevin told us the plan! You're gonna kill everyone! Maybe I should start with you! I have no choice here, right? This virus threatens the entire bloody world. Benoit is lost either way. It's easy to kill millions of faceless nobodies, isn't it? Stay back! They hardly seem human! Stop! But killing someone you love? That's not so easy, is it? Ah! Son of a bitch! Shit! <laughs> I'm dying here!
Oh my god! In better. He was right about one thing. Benoy is lost. If not him, then someone else will soon send a nuke with our name on it. The quicker we leave, the better. According to officials, Benoy is still under quarantine. The sought-after vacation destination, popular with celebrities and wealthy tourists alike, was ironically originally a penal colony and still houses one of the strictest maximum security prisons in the world. It is home to many dangerous criminals and terrorists, including Karen, the infamous hacker for hire who has worked for everyone from Al-Qaeda to the Yakuza. Meanwhile, news of the lethal virus on the island has caused a worldwide panic. Some have claimed that the virus is only the first wave of a massive international terrorist attack and that the intentions are global. Bernard Green, spokesman for the Australian Defence Force, denies the claims. There is no basis for these ridiculous rumours. The entire island is under military quarantine and the maximum security prison is completely secure. The hacker known as Karen and every other terrorist imprisoned there isn't going anywhere. Humanitarian aid is on its way, and you can be sure that the virus, or whatever it is, will not leave the island. The whole world anxiously watches what is happening in Benoit. For the moment, all flights in and out have been cancelled. Oh, shit, man, I can't believe we made it. At this point, I'll be goddamn glad to have all my old problems back. As long as the world is the way it used to be. It's not. And never will be. Trust me.